song crop, by the way, got its name because all the many sounds of the seasons. Very special place. Lots of wildlife and some very special treasures live here. This is a trillium. This is the land of the arboreal fairies. And being that it's one of the first sunny days of spring, our neighbor decided to mow. <laughs> the creek is abundant with wildlife. There's a nurse log here from an old growth stump. And up here is the place that Simon says the sacred frog lives. And we do occasionally see a frog in this spot. We see frogs all over, but there's a frog that likes this spot. Lots of salamanders. Lots of dandelion for the harvesting, which to us means marmalade and salads and roots. We're with this camp on, uh, if you can't beat them, eat them. This is the campground. Crab apples in bloom. <coughs> Excuse me. Salmon berries in bloom. This is the gathering place for camping and singing and enjoying the seasons. We have apple trees planted among the natives, as well as some blueberries with the sorrel. So you'll see this way a lot of trees came down this winter. Mostly old alders that were just ready to fall over and landed in the creek. So Brian will be down here with the chainsaw bucking those up, clearing out the creek. We'll save the wood for firewood. These old alders start to come down and they get really dangerous. So um, those ones we had left in the wetland area where the children don't play and um, is left to wildlife. But we're going to go ahead and harvest the ones that came down. And the other ones um, we are broken off at a height that's safe enough where they won't um, go towards anywhere where people are. 
This is the same path that we went down in the winter time. Peas are up. We're already harvesting our, our uh, lettuce, our first spring lettuce, but we also have overwintered lettuce and greens. We have leeks, bunching onion, and garlic and celery, some collard greens, and a bit of uh, sprouting broccoli. We finished off the cauliflower. The strawberries are coming up like crazy, so we ought to get a good, well not that they were ever underground, but they sure sent out runners. So we'll get a good strawberry crop this year. And our very young forest garden is waking up with all its guilds planted. got rainwater that comes down into swales into some of the beds, the parts of the beds. And our asparagus bed which is still dormant. And that Songcroft in the very early spring. Still don't have the chicken roof finished, but we're getting there. <laughs>